alaikum everyone welcome back to exclusive modest hope you have a wonderful day today i'll be taking you how to cut this abaya kimono dress with this trendy slip the slip is a cut together to some extent and also have a joining at the upper part of the sleeve uh it's going to have a guard as you can see it then the lower part of the sleeve is going to have an elastic rubber there so that is what we'll be making here but here i'll be combining these two fabric together if you're making for iron measurement make sure you use up to four yards of any fabric you're making use of i'll be using this for the half cut then i'll be joining this to it to make the full um dress so this is for the half cut if you're making it the way i'm going to make mine also you're going to cut if you're cut for an adult maybe half cut of 16 17 inches this is how you're going to cut it out then you have the middle length to make it the exact length of the dress so this is the half cut that I cut out which is um 11.5 inches with the same allowance so the next thing i'll be taking here this you know it's cut together with the slip to some extent so this is the measurement of making use of 10.5 inches 10.5 inches is with the same allowance you can see from the center of the neckline to where the joining starts this is 10.5 inches then i'll be making use of the wideness of the sleeve of 8 inches the wideness of this sleeve is 8 inches you can see but before then i'll be making use of a uh, shoulder slant of one inch then i'll be slanting it down to the center here You can see then the next thing is to take the wideness of the sleeve it's not fitted as so i'm making use of eight inches well since i've deducted um shoulder slant from the length that i measured before i'll be holding it back this is the eight inches that i wanted so from this eight inches that is where i'll be taking my bust measurements let me hold it out My bust measurements of 25 inches that by 4 is so 25 inches that by 4 is going to give us 6.25 but since I'm still going to have my same allowance too so let me just make it 26 and which is 6.5 inches you can see now so with the same allowance of half inch I'll make it of half inch of same allowance here so from here I'll be slanting it down no there's an opening at the front you can see the way i folded this is with the opening at the front then i'm still going to add a band to it that is why i didn't add to the um to the zip allowance though we normally call it a zip allowance since it's going to have an opening at the front so i didn't add to it at all because there's still going to be a band that's going to pass through all this uh all the fronts not the back so that's why i didn't bother to add um a seam allowance to it like if I'm doing it like this, you know, I've already had some inches to it to make it different from the front. But since I'm still going to have the band to it, that's why I'm shifting it to be equal like this. So from here, I'm going to make a slant line like this. A little slant like this. It's not straight. Just a little. It doesn't have a, a waist measurement. It's not fitted. It's a kimono dress. You can also make it a, um, a normal dress by closing off the front. If you actually like this style not to be a kimono dress so like this so the nice thing now is to cut it out so you can see it now so before adding um uh, uh, the remaining sleeve length to it let me take my neckline the neckline must not be too wide so i'll make it a 1.5 inches for my neckline yeah this is not constant it depends on who you are sewing for because this uh, shoulder measurement for this particular dress is five inches so this is the five inches you know this is where the five inches is but since it's cut together with the sleeve, you can see what we have here. So if you did just one inch, 1.5 inches for the neckline, this is the remaining shoulder measurement that I made. So the deepness of the neck is going to be 1.5 inches for the back. Then 
two inches for the front just an half inch difference then i'll be connecting them together before cutting you can see then this is the this is the front so so the two inches for the difference of the um for the front and back then i'll be lower the front neck to be with half inch to make it 2.5 inches so the front so the front deepness is 2.5 inches then the back is 2 inches you can see this is 2.5 inches for the front and this is 2 inches for the back so the nice thing to cut now is to uh, make a complete sleeve to do that you have to know the wideness of the uh, of the slip which is eight inches then you know that they gathers around this that means you're going to double the length the eight inches in two places is going to give us uh 16 inches you can as well triple it depending on the fabric you are using if you want to do on how full you want it to be but yeah i'm just going to double it i'm not going to triple it this is what i've cut out to make a plate around here and to complete the sleeve length you know when you join this together this since is eight inches when you join it together with the seam allowance it's going to be seven that seven at the front seven at the back that will go that is going to give us 14 inches so what you're going to cut here is will be 28 inches you know it's 14 then we got 14 that means you're not going to make any gathers again so you can make 28 upward it depends on how full you want it to be done and that's what i've cut here this is 28 inches i'm using i'm just drop i just doubled the main leg so this is the damper to complete the kimono dress i'm going to place it this way because this is what this is how i'm going to place it on this upper part so it's going to be like this then my length my full length is 33 inches so that's what i'm going to take out now 33 inches for the full length starting from the center here so this is the length of the kimono dress 33 inches is with the same allowance so i'm cutting it from here you can see so from here now since i'm placing it like this the allowance is there already you can see then i'm going to make it to slant it to the full length of the dress like this you can see so this is now the shape i cannot cut it out now So you can see the folding of this um, one also has an opening. You can see the way I fold it. This is going for the front and this is going for the back. The same thing I folded the upper part. So this I'm going to sew it. Then to complete this step, we're going to tape it here. Put our elastic over then. We're going to gather it around here. So I'm going to show you all this when I'm sewing it.
see the sleeve this is the gathers after the cut together sleeve you can see it and this is the elastic rubber at this area you can see it and this is how i attach my lace to it you know if you are cutting it full as in if you are making use of one fabric you just have to fold it into four directly without adding any one to it like this and if you want to make a design one the way i did my you can also put um you can also use two different fabric like this and the neckline is free neckline you can see it a free neckline shape as in after cutting oh, i cut out the back and for to be one so after joining the shoulder i tried to uh, slant the neck the front neckline you can see it there i slant it you can see you can see it you can see the way i slant it you can see it so you can also make it a round neck the way it is before it went on how you want the neck to be this is the damp part you can see the opening at the front you can see how beautiful this turns out so if you're making use of a single fabric it will also beautiful and here is the belt you can see the belt it depends on how wide you want the belt to be and if you're cutting for an iron measurement you know you're going to make use of five inches and fold it into two the half inch is going for the same allowance and the two inches is going for the belt so if you're watching me for the first time please you're in the right place to be and thank you for stopping by make sure you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload any other tutorial like this you'll be notified see my next class assalamualaikum